is the Warriors big three over? That's the question. Yes. I, I, I can't believe I'm going to say it. You're witnessing a change of the guard in the NBA. Shea, Shea Gildress Alexander, Wembenyama, Anthony Edwards, Jason Tatum. And you're starting to see the decline of the stars that we grew up with, Deepaw. Yep. Le- LeBron, Steph, Clay. Uh, I just don't see Draymond Green helping any basketball team, to be honest with you. Clay Thompson does not look like himself at all. And Steph can't carry a team at 33, 34 years old. So, oh, no, no, Dino, 36. He's 36? 36 years old. Oh yep. my God, that went by fast. Yeah, I, that did. Yeah, it, it went by really fast. I didn't know he was 36 years yeah, old. Yes. And that's, and that's exactly why, why I'm saying I agree. It absolutely is over. You're right. Draymond isn't the same Draymond. Clay is washed, in my opinion. Like, it just he just doesn't have it. He, he lost the stroke. Steph still an elite shooter, but you're right. He cannot carry a team like he used to be able to carry that team. Will he go on hot streaks? Yes, absolutely. It, will he still shoot the lights out of Jim? Absolutely. But he's not going to be a cornerstone piece that you can succeed and continue to win championships with. For all you know, the LeBron, that- you know LeBron's going to go there, right? I mean, I agree with all of you for the reasons that you've said. This definitely is the final nail in the coffin. But rather than be so negative on this, like, oh, yeah, it's over. I mean, let's just, like, give them a round of applause for a second. This run, I mean, I don't know off the top of my head, but how many championships did they have? I mean, they were. it was in a huge window, too, which I think is even more impressive. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking away. It wasn't like It wasn't like back to back to back to back. You know, like, it was like a large, you know, gap of years to where they were dominant. Yeah, and, and you bring up a great point. Like I'm not I'm not trying to like piss on their party. You know what I mean? Like they've accomplished things in the NBA in the last decade that is unbelievable from a unit that stayed together because we don't get to see that that often in the NBA. So, hats off to them. They've had a remarkable run together. Steph, unbelievable career. Clay, unbelievable career. Obviously his injury kind of derails that a little bit, but when, when you look at the things that they've done, it's amazing. It's just at that point where it, they're difficult to watch. And they used to be so much fun to watch. There's flashes yeah. of it, and you're like, oh, they're the Splash Brothers. Here we go. And then they miss like four or five shots in a row, and you're like, it's not the same squad. Draymond can't stay on the floor. The guy is an absolute – like if if he wasn't so normal off the floor – I would I would pull comparisons to Antonio Brown, but he's really normal off the floor. Antonio Brown's lost his mind, yeah. so it's just sad to see that that this is how it ends. But th- you you start to see this in every single sport, you know. And and I'll give my respect to like th- those runs that they had were extremely impressive, and they were playing basketball the right way. And Steve Kerr, uh, you know, in part kind of revolutionized part of the NBA, and those teams kind of changed the NBA. Steph did. Um, but I was a hater, man. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like them winning. I thought it, I hated KD going there. Um, you know, especially after setting the record for the most regular season wins, I, I will give them, you know, due credit. That was an awesome, awesome run that they had to get the most wins in uh, NBA regular season history. A hundred percent. I mean, congrats to that organization. Um, cause it's very, very hard to do. 